water, malt, hops, and yeast. So those are the four main ingredients of all beer. I'm James Costa, and I'm the brewmaster at the Half Moon Bay Brewing Company, and I've been here for three and a half years. We're a 15 barrel brew system, so we do around 500 gallons of beer at a time. It takes us about 14 to 17 days to make a beer. So basically it all starts back here. Day one, the malt to the mill. This is what malt looks like. They're just little pieces of grain. Yep. This is a seed for barley. We'll take these bags of malt, which are 55 pounds, and we'll dump them in that mill over there. We're gonna crack it open, expose those carbohydrates, and then hit those with hot water. So as the grain drops in, it's being hydrated. And this is called a mash tun, and it's like a giant strainer. The hot water will convert those carbohydrates over into fermentable sugars. Then we add hops to the boil. Once the boil stops, it's called the knockout, KO. We'll transfer it through the heat exchangers and into the fermentation units. Days three through seven is primary fermentation. Days seven through nine is when the fermentation is slowing down. Day nine is when we start pulling yeast off the tank and we might dry hop the beer or whatever we decide to do, and then usually we crash the beer, which is cold chilling the beer. And once we cold chill the beer, it sits for another five to seven days. After the cold chilling is the filtration process. And from the filtration process, it goes into the right beer room. We might carbonate it in there. We might let it sit for a little while longer, just depending on what we decide to do with the beer. and then at the end of that process, then we shoot it through the bottling machine. I come from a farming family in the Central Valley, and it really gets me in touch with all these people all over the world that grow the malt, that grow the hops. We have a little hand in all their work and all their jobs, as well as we get to do something fun. You know, produce beer for a living. 